Okay, this is gonna be a follow-up video, like a part two for this 562. We got some light scoring. We're gonna clean the cylinder up, drop a new piston in. We're gonna do some performance work while we're here in a sensuous kind of fashion. So hang loose and we'll dive into this. Okay, so this is a good example of it's not running right, don't run it much longer. So, you know, we we didn't have a, a lubrication issue. We had a carburation device issue. Uh, moreover, we're gonna upgrade a couple of things here. Here's, you know, don't look at that, but you know, when you look in here, you know, we've been eating some fines and that ain't no good. You know, the air filter had been recently replaced, but you know, this, this giddy up right here just doesn't do the job that it's meant to. Um, so when I said light scoring, there's super light scoring here, but regardless, that's not going to get any better, but you know, we stopped it. He stopped running it. So the cylinder will clean up super easy. And, you know, we got this child proof muffler here. Uh, I, I hate doing these mufflers here. Let me grab my flashlight and I'll show you. So if you look down in there, there's more baffle than there's muffler. So we're going to hog all that out the hard way. And I, you know, some guys will actually, if they can weld really good, we'll just cut these in half, take all the guts out of them, put it back together. Um, I'm going to, with a long carbide burr, go in there and hog all that material out there. So we've got a nice straight shot. So this muffler can breathe. I'll actually probably weigh this beforehand and see how much material we can take out. Um, cause it's a heavy little rascal. So uh port work is going to be done as well um we are upgrading the filter system here i need there's somebody else's stuff but this filter kit for the 562 does 10 times better i'm gonna zoom in here and if y'all want there's your part number, the 599, excuse me, 598-943-501. And this comes with the filter base and a filter. So we've got everything we need right there. You just have to uh, hook up the kill switch wires and swap over the pur purge bulb. Uh, carburation device that uh, we'll have to program, unfortunately. Uh, brand new piston. And this was actually cheaper. This is a 2019, so there were some upgrades after this unit, I think in 2020, and then all of a sudden, maybe it was 2022, that got a more robust oil pump. And you see there's some, some decent wear, wear on that gear and there's some decent wear on this clutch. Now, you know, this is a commercial saw. This gets used a lot. So, you know, this is maintenance. It was actually cheaper to buy this whole kit in the grand scheme of things. So there's your whole kit. And this comes with a new drive gear, the oil pump, crutch drum, needle bearing, and a rim sprocket, all of which he needs. So, you know, basically you're getting a free oil pump out of this. I don't normally plug other YouTube channels just cause uh, there, if you, if you like, if you're a gearhead, you like machining, you like hot rods and stuff like that, go check out Powell Machining. He's on YouTube. Uh, Daniel's got a, uh, machine shop. He does all kinds of engine performance builds and stuff like that. Super nice guy. I know a lot of you have made comments. You enjoy the way I present things in a no nonsense, no BS kind of fashion. And Daniel's an awful lot like that. I've never met him. I don't know him. I like his content. So with that being said, go check him out. He's uh, really getting some traction on YouTube. And speaking of traction on YouTube, if you haven't subscribed, throw me a like, put some thumbs up, and uh, let's get back to the video. 
Okay, port works roughed in. Still need to go back and polish and chamfer. Raise the uppers. Just did a little bit of work on the lowers, not much. Uh, clearances, yada, yada, yada. Um, exhaust. Definitely got a little bit more going on right there. And I'll show you when I'm done with this with the finished product. But just to show you how lightly scored this was, I don't even know if you can see it. If I put a little bit of light. Usually anything, in, there we go. Come on, focused in there. There's a little bit over there and there's a little bit over here as well. So anyway, like I said, the cylinder's gonna clean up easy peasy, nothing hurt, fresh piston. And um, I'll come right back after I get it all gussied up. All right, she's all polished up, chamfered, yada, yada, yada. A nice finish on that. Yeah, nothing fancy here. Just easy peasy porting. Um, I will glue, well, I'll use some Permatex Ultra Black. Here, let me back you out so you can actually see. Both these side caps right here just need a little bit of loving. Um, you can either use like some Honda Bond or, where's my Ultra Black at? Come here, you. Anyway, it's around here somewhere. Um, but these have known to leak at some point in time if you don't get these on there just right. So just a little added insurance. And from here, we're uh, going to bolt everything up. Just put a big old jumbo exhaust second port there. And then carved out. Here, if I can get this up in the in the... So if you look there, I've gutted all that. Just using uh, a die grinder with one of these long burrs. And this does a really nice job. You can really reach in there and do some stuff. That's just a valve seat that I got from the hardware store. You know, just measure your OD of this and find one with a slip fit ID. So. VG 333, three something. Anyway, you get the idea, but it's a, it's a nice aid for your hand. And um, all right, that's it. I'm getting a little too long winded. Let me button this thing up. We're going to do some test cuts with it. Okay, we're all back together except the top cover. Everything's all new, nice and shiny. Um, nice upgrade kit here with the. Uh, new heavier duty clutch drum it's 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 a good bit heavier than this one um the, the these do go in pairs so this warm gear will not mate with that the new uh clutch drum doesn't have these little dogs on the bottom of it it actually the warm gear actually runs off the spline so just be careful which one you're trying to switch and swap you know, new and improved is completely new and improved. So all that goes together, and I guess that's why it's sold in the kit. Uh, I'm ready to go pull the cord on this. Everything looks good. Everything works right. Uh, I have not fired it up yet, but let's go do that. All right, y'all. So when you plug this carburetor up, it will load the new firmware on there, and you'll end up with factory default settings which means this will be pig rich to get started with. Um, I did pull the cord, make sure it fired up. I revved it a couple of times. So you'll see it, you know, I mean, there's like three seconds of runtime, maybe five seconds of runtime. So let me fire this thing up and you'll actually hear. Now, obviously there's performance work done to this as a timing advance. So it's gonna be a little confused in the beginning that everything's different, but you'll also hear how, you know, nice these M-Tronic and Auto-Tune saws are to quickly adapt to changes.
like always, let it idle a little bit. It only takes about 20, maybe 30 seconds max to find a happy medium. I'm looking at my chain and I realize it looks a little on the dry side. I forgot to turn the oil to max. All right, a couple of closing thoughts. Uh, saw runs great. I think throttle response is right where it needs to be for a ported saw. Um, it's not horribly loud, even with that huge addition to the muffler and gutting it. Um, I probably need to get some better test wood. You know, it doesn't really shine when you're cutting in some yard growth old hickory that's got, you know, wood grain on it, you know, a sixteenth of an inch apart. Um, that's a nice, really sharp hand file chain. Um, anyway, I appreciate you sticking with me and, uh, we'll see you on the next one.